If you want good pizza, come to St. Mark's. It's the best pizza. I'll be in any borough. I always come to St. Mark's. I know about two boroughs. So they love me in there. I shop every day in there. I got two slices a day. Keep the doctor away, my guy. One thing a lot of people tell us is that when you walk into Two Bros, it's like a microcosm of New York in general. You can see homeless people to Wall Street bankers on the same line waiting for that same pizza. It's something that everyone can rely on at any time of their life, whatever the situation is. My name is Eli Halali. I'm one of the bros. I'm Orrin Halali. I'm one of the bros. We are the Two Bros. Our pizza is by far the best quality pizza you could get, especially for a dollar. A lot of plain cheese slices. And then we do some topping slices. The pizza at Two Bros is made from scratch every single day, hand tossed. You get it served hot and you get it served in a matter of seconds. People are very busy. They come outside for lunch, they have five minutes to figure out what they want to do. Here's a place where I'm getting a fresh hot slice within nine seconds and it's one dollar. That's our skill, is getting the people in and out. And that's what we're good at. And it's really, it's a science. It's something that we worked on for the last 10 years, perfecting. We wanted to create a buzz when we opened, and we put this $1 special to, to start the business. It was our marketing and PR, everything. We just said we're not gonna spend the money on PR and stuff, we'll just give it away like this. When we started, we put a sandwich board up and we took a chalk marker and we put pizza, $1. It didn't really create anything. No one was really walking in, no one really cared. Five weeks into it, I would say, we came up with the idea of let's create like a dollar sign that we print in big bright red and the next day from when we put that sign up everything changed like it was always busy. You know we used to see the same people five six times a week. And then we realized that the numbers were going to be able to work as long as we sold a certain amount of pizza and we were like you know people now understand that this name is really connected to this dollar thing. Because it's real it's us you know it's who we are we're too Brothers, best friends, they love pizza. I uh, could just get one cheese slice. Can I get a well done one? Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks so much. I'm Scott Wiener and I'm a professional pizza enthusiast. Still too hot, 181. It's an infrared thermometer. So if it's over 170, that's where it It'll burn your mouth. So I just got the uh, the cheese slice, the dollar slice. I mean, it tastes tastes like dollar pizza. It tastes like you know roller rink, little league softball game pizza on the side. You know, it's not pizza as a focus. It's like you go here when you're hungry and you need something fast. Dollar slices as a price point is not a new thing. Obviously, pizza has been one dollar, and the last time it was a dollar was probably in the late '80s. Pizza as a resurging force, as a dollar food, that really came on the rise right around the recession in 2008. 99 cent fresh pizza was the one that I always go to at the Port Authority. And then suddenly I saw Two Bros was opening up, and then 99 cent fresh opened up more, and then now there's gotta be 80 or 90 dollar slice places around the city. The recession was really important for the dollar slice because you had a lot of people's careers changed around that time, and some of these dollar slice places come from that fallout. When we started Two Bros, I was 24, and my brother was 23. Babies. We're not pizza men by trade, and we never were. We grew up in Brooklyn in a neighborhood called Mill Basin. We both went to school in New York, and we'd always be eating late night food, and somehow we'd always be drawn to pizza. When a space became available, we started negotiating with the landlord. You know, we would Google like the type of things we would need to ask. All our savings, whatever money we had saved up, we put into it. Once we got out of school, we opened the first place at St. Mark's towards the end of 2007. Two bros and the other dollar slice places they make money because that low price point brings in the volume. And so as long as they're doing volume, then they can stay in business. The restaurant business in New York is as tough as it gets. The issue with our business is that if you don't sell a certain amount, then, you, then you're dying. And the number really really depends on you know, what your occupancy cost and what... And, and, and that being the, said, the range is around 45 to 50 cents. Of well, the actual cost of the slice. Yeah, but that's before labor. And before I get it. He's asking what it costs to, to make a slice. 
Another misconception with Dollar Slice in general is like, yeah, the pizza's fake. The dough's frozen that they're buying from someone. The cheese is like a fake cheese. We're really using the highest end ingredients on our pizzas. A big part of it is our buying power. We buy almost everything direct from the manufacturer. We don't have any middleman. Huge quantities, yeah. Trailers of cheese, you know, trailers of flour, trailers of uh, cans of soda, everything in huge volume. When your margins are razor thin, uh, you know, every dollar counts. The speed of which a person gets in and out determines how much pizza we can sell. That's something that, that we train our pizza guys more than anything else. The employees, they come into work at 7 a.m. The first thing they do is they start making a fresh dough for either the day or the next day, and then they make fresh sauce, and they'll be doing that for three, four hours before we even open for lunch. They know they gotta just keep making them as the people are coming. So they know when they're gonna get hit at lunch, they know when they're gonna get the after work crowd, they know the stuff and our people do a great job, you know, they really do, of always giving people a fresh hot slice. Would we consider Two Bros street food? Well, most of our stores have completely open doors and they're like pretty much part of the street. Most people are taking that slice without a bag and just continuing to walk. This is it's like Chinese food. I can definitely say this is better than like a five dollar slice all over the world. In New York City, yeah. I come here every day. It's kind of bad. Well, this is I'm coming back from my third. It's good, it's cheesy, it has the right amount of sauce, and it's never like hard. It's always doughy in the crust. And it's cheap, it's a dollar. Can't beat that. I think dollar pizza is on the way out. As the 10-year leases that started in 2008, as they run out. I think we're gonna see the dollar slice turn into a dollar 25 slice, a dollar 50 slice. I really think we'll look back at this time fondly because this is a time period where pizza should not cost a dollar. Special moment. I lived in New York City. I could buy a slice of pizza for just a buck. How cool is that? It's getting more and more expensive to, to operate businesses, especially in New York. For the foreseeable future, it's a dollar, you know, it's important to us. We're very torn in a lot of conversations about raising the price. And as long as we're able to sell it for a dollar, we'll continue to do that. We don't know what's gonna, tomorrow's gonna bring. Every day the world changes.